Welcome to our fifth short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 26th of May 2020. My name is Sebastian Bode, and I would, as a, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from Home Office. As always, the colleagues are ready to answer all your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions directly here in the webinar tool, which we will answer back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you in public, but only privately. Of course, we will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. This webinar will also be recorded and, as always, uploaded to different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, and our YouTube and Vimeo channel. In the last week, we had to suspend the tips and tricks webinars for our webinar with Cutplan. Were you participating? If not, you missed something. It was really, really great how the software solutions work together and how easy it is how, uh, to, to construct complicated facades, uh, curtain walls and elements and so on. Really great. If you're interested, don't worry. You will find this webinar also on the mentioned platforms as well. And maybe in the near future, part two will be added. Who, do, who knows? But let's get back to the today's topic. In the team webinar, we talked about machinings, among other things. In addition, in many other webinars, you have expressed the wish that this would also be a good topic for an extra webinar. And that's exactly why we're going to deal with it today. But for this, I would like to start with a short survey. For this, I'm interested if you are using a machining center in your company and if you're using also the logical interface. So the first answer is, uh, the first um, yeah, answer is that you use a machining center with a logical interface. The other thing is using a machining center without log the logical interface. The third answer is that you don't have a machining center in use. And the fourth, if you are not sure here. Okay, also this survey, we, uh, for, therefore we will take about one minute. 17% chosen an answer. It would be nice if more take a click and you have to set this uh, survey not in the full screen mode, but only in the window mode. There's a small bug, yes. So, okay, I took a little bit longer because only 30% have chosen, okay, 34%, okay, in three, two, one, I close the survey. Thank you for participating. And I would show you also the result here. Okay, 54% are using a machining center with a logical interface. 15% are using a machining center without a logical interface, okay. 23% are not using a machining center and 8% are not sure. Thank you for this. And to all of you which have chosen the second answer, I can give you the first hint today. The interface is really good and makes your work much easier. You bring the informations for the machinings directly digi digital to the machining center. No manual, pro, uh, no ma manual work to do. Everything is automatically. And yeah, I think that's really great. And try it. It is good. But now it's time that we would start. For the uh, topic today, I thought that we won't look how to create a simple machining. 
because that's in logical it's very easy i would like to show you today the small settings which can really help you in your everyday life because especially in this area all subsequent changes directly at the machining center cost too much time and that's that is exactly what we want to save so at first let's start with some basic settings here in the in your cnc company standard when setting up the machining center in your logical, our technical support engineer creates such a machining center with different settings with you. But just because we have done this with you one time, it does not mean that you are not allowed to change anything. It's normal that you say after a few weeks or so that some settings should be different and that and you can do it. That's really good. For example, you can uh, you have the possibility to set which machinings has to be performed as an example the corner connections here i think also in great part here are the standard machinings here you have to know that behind a lot of components not always the machining dimensions uh, machining dimensions are entered directly but a corresponding reference to these settings we could not go through every setting here, but I would like to give you two examples. First example is the, is the machining for the profile cylinder. If it is yeah, not too small, but if it could be a little bit bigger, then it uh, would be uh, easier to bring the profile cylinder into the door. And here you can say, okay, every profile cylinder machining should be a millimeters bigger. And yeah. You won't see that because you have normally there a special execution plate for this. You could also say that you would like to perform the plate fixing also. We check this box. You can uh, set the diameter here and everything is fine. So basically, if any dimension does not fit as you like it then have a look here first as a further example i just mentioned the possibility of switching off the machinings here for the corner connections this is important for yeah this could be if uh, the the workload for the machining center is not so high but these machining center uh, these machining operations could of course also become interesting if the if the machining if the um, workload on the machining center is higher so for this making the changes again and again here is not the ideal solution but how does it work then that's really simple you can copy the settings for your for your machining center and as an example say without corner connections okay then we give it the information the machinings for the corner connections should not be performed we save it give it a, a, a higher priority and after that if you make the cnc export for your window here then Logical gives you the possibility that you can choose between the two different settings here, without a corner connection or with a corner connection. And this you can do with different settings, but you um, make not so much different settings here because that's not good for the overview. Another big issue is of is often the window drainage there's often the wish to deviate from the basic settings in certain cases i think and if you want to make some changes this is possible in the system data in your own user database here you have to choose the right system here as an example we choose here the wd72 and 
we have here the part visible drainage and ventilation. Now we have the possibility to make the A valid and um, at first Logic I'll ask you if the values from the system database should be applied. Okay, yes we want it and after that you can make some changes here. As an example, uh, never apply more than two drainages. Okay, we close it and then take a look on the position properties in the window here. And now you have the possibility here to set this special settings for the for the drainage, especially for this window. You have also the other possibilities, but also this uh, setting A here. Okay, you have the you you need for for special position position that the um, that the drainage is should not be um, made in the machining center, then you have a special function here. With a right click here on the D, you can delete the drainage in this profile especially. And you, you have to make it for every for every element. So um, yeah, it's easy if you have has special elements where you don't really need it here. Okay, we close this and yeah, it's very easy to make some different settings here for the drainages. Some of you may have seen that in the system database, there are even more settings possible. Of course, I don't want to keep them from you, but always remember, all settings you only apply to one system. If you use several systems, you have to set also several you have to set it also several times. But good, let's go on here. How do you choose whether you want to screw, to crimp or nail corner connectors? One argument here is, all, is often the size of the frame or the sash. When the width or the height exceeds uh, certain, certain dimensions, crimping is not so easy. So for this, that you don't have to pay attention by yourself for this, you can set the so-called automatic. Also for this special system, the automatic for corner, connect corner connections. As an example, the limit for us uh, should be 500 millimeters. And after that, logical knows below 500 millimeters, we have to, uh, it should be, the frames should be crimped and above the uh, limit the frames should be nailed. But important, Logical does not choose the automatic every time. If you want to use the automatic, then you have to say this in the position properties. Here you can say now automatic. And if you want to use it in the whole pro uh, project, you can set it here and save it as project as a project preference here. Okay, this is a special or very, very easy way to, to set automatic the automatically the right corner, connect, corner connection. Another important point is that the position, um, also uh, that the machining is set according to the, the specifications of the profile supplier. We see it here in the, on the left frame. You know it, you can go directly here to the CAD. That we have here 49 millimeters from the end of the profile to the machining for the corner connector. Okay, but what if you do, if the corner connectors are not tightened properly, do the tolerances and the saw on the material? Here, you see the left frame. And as an example, you need not 49 millimeters, you need 49.2 millimeters. Changing the machining operations manually uh, at the machining is one possibility, but I think that this would be very time consuming. It could be a lot easier. For this, we go again back here, close this window and go again in the system data of our 
system here. And here in the part C and C, you have the possibilities to make an additional pre-stress for the corner cleats. We put this at uh, 0 0.2 millimeters and go back to the window to see the result here. Okay, we take also again a look on the left frame. Go directly here in the CAD and see 49.2 millimeters. So you do it here once and use it again and again and again. For this, I show you two simple things with which you can leave the corner connectors as an issue to logical. Very easy and very good. But in the system data, there's another really good thing. It's not especially for the CNC part, but it's also interesting and it is for the glazing beads. Glazing beads are often cut directly at the workplace. To cut them after optimization is then usually very difficult. I've often heard the sentence for that, okay, then I just order a few more and then I'll be fine. Could be done so, of course, okay, but it could be definitely easier and uh, more saving material. Basically, the problem here is that in many casing, cases, glazing beads would simply be a little bit too short or too long after the cutting optimization because it is in manufacturing. Of course, you could always manually cut the glazing beads a little bit longer at the saw, okay? But also this took, took much time and sometimes the optimization is not really fit. And uh, yeah, the, the, the cutting data from Logical are also not right. So what do you think about leaving this up to Logical? For this, you can set also in special information here. Also in the system here in the part cut. And here you can set an extension for the glazing bead. As an example, 20 millimeters. Also this, we can set okay. And after this, all the glazing beads are getting, uh, are cutting 20 meters longer. So you can cut it on the normal saw and the colleague in the uh, assembly part of your, um, yeah, um, of your window working only have to cut it a little bit and everything fits together and everything is easy and you don't have to uh, order more glazing beads. I think that's very easy, can save a lot of time and a lot of money. The last point in this webinar, yeah, it's a very important point and I've heard that from some customers in personal trainings and yeah, if I heard uh, something like this, I often bring it uh, up to some webinars here. It is about door hardware. And as you already know from me, let's imagine a situation. You build a door with hardware, which you have, of course, uh, of course discussed with your client. All the machinings fit perfectly, but after the customer has used the door, it occurs to him that he would like a different lock. With a new lock, however, the lock cases are a little bit larger and uh, therefore additional work is necessary at the customer's place. So it costs time, it costs work, not good. It would have been much easier, especially if this situation occurs more often, if the lock machining has been directly a little bit bigger. It is covered by the lock, uh, by the lock plate anyway. Some of you will now say, yes, we might do it always, every time directly at the machine. The colleague knows that he always has to change something with the lock. I think you heard that I would like to say to you, you uh, do not have to change something at the machine. Look at Logical where you can make these changes one time and not every time here. You have the for this example, a special possibility here in the user database in the door 
hardware for the lock. Attention here, because if you change something here, no one will ask if it really fits and is right. So yeah, pay attention and then it's very, very nice tool here. If you are sure that you want to change something, you have at first to, to check one special box. I have to look for the lock I want to show you. So the first uh, box you have to check is don't update. The reason is that within, within, with the next database update, all your changes would be away. So don't worry, prices will still uh, kept up to date. So, and after that, we can change, as an example, the case height to 250 millimeters. Then we save it. And let's take a look at the door leaf of this element here. You're directly here in the part of the machine, CNC machining. Here is the door leaf. Okay, we go also directly here in the CID. Take a look here. And the machining is 250 millimeters big. And yeah, you do it one time, every time it is right in the machining center. So better change this, the other things one time here in Logical and not every time the machining center. At uh, this point, we are yeah, over the 20 minutes and shortly before the end, uh, I want to give you a short preview for the next time. And the next time is about numbers, about the calculation with Logical. Sounds at first very lame, but it won't. I promise you that. Be curious, and if you haven't done it yet, register directly via our homepage. Finally, uh, the usual note, if you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey and we will get back to you soon. Let's rock the week together, stay healthy. Until then, thank you, bye.